Okay, so today's video is so ridiculously long, I have the contents on so you can skip bits if you find them boring. Okay, so first off, I've got a normal couple of deliveries just from normal people I've bought. And then I've got a massive, massive delivery from Tall Addict, Ben. Also scattered up is a guess the price on about four deliveries. Some hydraulic press actions in at the top jaw on a record uh, pipe wrench. And an investigation in, into a bucko wrench that still won't move even when I've removed the thumb wheel. So, there's an awful lot going on today, and like I say, if you want to miss bits, just use the forward function on, on whatever, on the little bar thing down the bottom. It does come up and is labelled with everything you need to know. Okay, off we go. This was delivered Christmas Eve. Tall hall number 17142375. Star date, Christmas Eve, 2020. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, oh. So, this is the first of many tools coming out of boxes today. What could it be? This is two lots, that was one lot. And that was the other lot, I believe. Let me have a look. Right, so that's one lot. And then these here, these are all Eagle brands. Now, there was many spanners used for the old uh, Jaguars. Eagle brand was one. I've got a few eagles already, so I'm hoping to make up a set of eagles. So I've got four eagles there for guess the price. And then also Shelleys were used in a lot of old tool kits. We'll have a few Shelleys floating around again now and again. So there's a Shelly. A Shelly. They're all Shelleys, yeah? They're all Shelleys. Right, Shelleys are used in old British car tool kits. The Eagles and the Shelleys will get cleaned up in a video later this week. So that's a, that's a nice one for me. However, it is a bit mangled, isn't it? It's a, it's a bit chewed up. It. But it's got a nice stamp up there, British made. And it's got a nice erased Shelley on it. So we'll give that a clean up. And I believe, looking at that, it should be black in there. And a tire lever at the bottom. So quite, probably around 60s, 50s, 60s. So price please for those Shelleys and a price for those Eagle Spanners. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, uh, may as well come today, Christmas Eve. Don't know when this video will get out. Don't know what this is. Don't know what. No, oh, nothing is to open it. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember now. This is a selection of uh, pad saws. Different ones to normal. Right, what we got here? We got a nice Stanley number one nine nine. Can't get any wobble in it. Yeah, normal Stanley wobble. In that there. That's uh, typical of a Stanley. Incredible, isn't it? Really. I don't know if they warp over time or what. Then we've also got. It's unusual to get the blades with them. Oh, look at that! Another, another number twelve. That many number twelve now. Can I? But he's got this Eclipse thirteen. That goes. This one goes like that. So the saw handle, and you'd end up you'd end up cutting like that here. Yeah? Whereas with this one, you end up cutting in a straight line. So it's all personal choice, isn't it? So that's a that's an off-white creamy, creamy colour. That Eclipse, so Eclipse thirteen, Eclipse twelve, Stanley one nine nine, two blades. How much? Ah. 
Ah, look at this lovely little bugger. I've never seen one of these before. Oh, I don't even want to use it. So this is a more of an engineering, uh, especially if they've got two holes here. Yeah, this is an engineering vice that you put at the bottom of a uh, drill press. But who would want to with this beautiful thing? Okay. This is a Hillmore, and it's for pipes. It's actually in the moulding. Well, we've got a, we've got a nice red that will match that, haven't we? Yes, sir. Uh, and there is some writing on there as well. We can see that. Can we see that? I don't think we can. Right, well, I mean, we know what's got to happen there then, don't we, with that? That's got to go for a clean, isn't it? Oh, dear. And it's a, it's a pipe vice. Oh, that's interesting. A little heal more pipe vice. Get a clean, get a spray. So how much should I pay for that please? Oh, that's those. Can't do a story like Ben, I'm afraid. Can't. Not, well, not many people can part from Ben, can they really? Uh... I don't know how Ben does it also, man. Talking to Ben. This box has come from Ben. I knew it was from Ben when I see the delivery man struggling up the path. Still. See ya. Right. Right. Tissue paper. Always good having some tissue paper. Thank you, Ben. More tissue paper. Thank you, Ben. Alright, this is the box that he sent me in the little Garrett and 10. You all know the story about this, so I ain't got to go into this again, have I? Ben has got a, a unique persuading way about him, and he persuaded me out of my 10 for a 14. He swapped me for a 14, and he promised me. If he ever see another 10, he would get it for me. True to his word, he has. He gave me this for one of these. Then he found one of these and gave me this as well. Thank you, Ben. You're a man of your word. Now, what have we got in here? Oh, oh. Oh, I like this one. He told me, yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we've got at the end. This is a snail, look. But it's a, I've never seen a snail like that one in there. there. Alright. Like that, Ben. Thank you. There's a... a oh, that's a worn barcode, that one, isn't it? Look. And it's not that old. It's uh, 60s. 60s, 70s. 0672. 60... I can't remember the exact year they started making 062. That is very worn for that year. I wonder what that will clean up like. And what have we got here? Oh, another, another one, 8071. Another horrible one. That looks like being in a pot of acid. This is the new Ergo ones. Ergo. That's, uh, that's very, very manky. Another ergo 8071. It's a little bit better looking, but I don't know. It's uh, that's got something on there as well. We'll have that off and have a look. Now, what's the chance of that? So, that Shelly that came in the last lot has now got a matching brother. With Shelly, must have uh, they must have weak metal on their jaws because the jaws are in very similar condition. Wow, what's the chances of that? I've eh? never seen a Shelly that's like that, and then get two. And another Ergo, wow. Oh, reversible Ergo. So, with the reversibles, you just flip the jaw out. And then you wind it back in, and hey presto, you've got a pipe wrench, because that will now grip on the pipes, yeah? yeah. I mean, now we know that this, 
the pipe wrench ones were being made to all 100 odd years ago because of that one I had the other day, the number 101. Oh, I sent it off to Ben, actually, so. Well, that's an interesting one. Doesn't quite close tight. Alright, let's sort that. This it's a diamond cork horseshoe company. Never seen one of these. I've got to thank you, Ben, for that. That is like my Christmas present. That is, that's like the best thing to arrive since, um, well, since your last parcel. <laughs> a little bit of twist going on up this end. Look, a little bit of twist. Good. Give me something to do that, won't it? Look. Oh, it's gone, it's gone straight again. That's interesting. Why is that, um, why is that wobbly? I'm well pleased with that, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Cool. Wait, look at that. That's a, oh, that's the start of a collection of eight inch spanners. That's uh, that's a nice one. That is. Now ben said he was sending me some stuff because I sent him. Uh, well, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter the value of the stuff that I sent. I sent it because I knew he wanted it. But he he did say that I'd sent a bit too much, so he was sending me some back. Look at that little eight-inch record. Look, someone's plastic dipped that handle. Oh, what's the chance of that? I've never seen a Shelly. Now I've seen a backwards Shelly. Nothing on that side. So the bigger ones, a little bit newer because it hasn't got the tyre wrench on the bottom. Uh, wow. And someone's painted that as well. It's nice, that, isn't it? Again, the jaws are mangled. Strange, isn't it, our... Uh, I mean, they must have all come from. They must have all bought their metal from a similar place originally. Oh, they're just spanners everywhere, yeah. Ben's gone mental. I reckon Ben needed a shelf empty. <laughs> Another little barco. Another ergo. Lovely. Fucking hell, Ben. Little CK. I've got a few of these now. I've got enough of these for a, for a set for myself. Oh, it's such a smooth action on those. Another little record. Call my poor old eyesight. Yep, another little record one. And what's this one? This is an unusual one. A foreign brand. Oh. What would this have been in? This would have been in a tiny little toolkit, wouldn't it? Foreign's German, for anyone that didn't know. They are a foreign, they're a German brand, foreign. Straighten that up a little bit. Jesus, Ben. K T C. Kyoto tools. Now I've got. A, I'm gonna guess that's Japanese. I quite like the Japanese stuff. Japanese is, uh, well, as we all know, the Japanese make Sony and uh, the Chinese make Snoy. But Japanese tools are quite good. That's going straight up on the wall. That one's uh, going in the, in the keepy box for a while. Ben said he doesn't mind me selling some of these to recoup some of the money for the, the things I sent him. Um, which is also, also very good of him. Look at these little... I mean, these, these are... These... Look at that one. Ben, you got so many spanners. What's this one? Another Shelly. Wow. Huh. It's incredible. Where's the other Shelly? Get that one out of there before I do anything with it. That's the that's the diamond cork one. Get that out of there. 
Yeah. Well, please. Oh, yeah. It's weird. I looked at Shelley's and then a load of Shelley's turn up from Ben. That's, that's incredible. What's this one? Oh. Oh, this is a Made in Canada one, right? Now. I think it's Nubo. I haven't got... I have now. I haven't got a Made in Canada... Um, I haven't got a Made in Canada pipe wrench. And I do have Canadian ancestry, so... I've got the Molly Ulbium spanners made in Canada. I've never had a pipe wrench made in Canada, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Going over on a pipe wrench walk. Uh, another bark, oh god dear. Jesus, Ben, it goes on forever. What's this one? I can't see that. That's, yeah. No, it says British made. I have to look that one up and see what that one is. But give that one a clue. Right. And in this bag, in this bag here, yeah, we have got. Mm. Oh, a lovely 12 inch door. The weight on that bugger. Eee. Phew. That's incredible. What a spanner. Can we see the thickness of that? I mean, what have I got to compare? Let me compare it against something. Let me... I've, got a, I've got a CK here. I, can... I mean, that's a 10 inch. It's only a little bit smaller. Let me look at that. That's, that's incredible. What a spanner. Snail one gone. Where's that snail one Ben sent? Right, ben. ben sent that snail. I mean that's a that's a common snail, this one. It'll either say snail brand or or something on it there. Right, but never that picture that picture there is lovely. Oh that's a key that's a keeper as well. Oh that, that's just incredible. I'm gonna weigh it. Oh, well, he's a pound and a half, and a bit more. Wow. And this is a CK, with a, with a bar on the end. Ben must have got a, oh, what a movement. What, look at that, look. Unbelievable. Fingertips. Well, Ben, another one. Is this going to be the next size up, CK? No way. It is two. Oh, no. I say, oh, no, because I don't know. Uh... <laughs> oh, ben said I could sell some of this, and there ain't much in here that I wouldn't want to keep. Fucking hell. Oh, shit, I've sworn now. Bollocks. Fuck. I think I've got some strange sort of Tourette's, you know. Oh, uh, Ben, that's, that's just mental, Ben. That, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. That, that's crazy, Ben. Well. About 25 spanners in there. 25 adjustable spanners, Ben, you nutter. Okay, moving on to something <sighs> different. I'm now going to straighten out this uh, the head, top jaw, on this little Record 8. As you can see, it's got a bend in it. Perfect to straighten out on the hydraulic press. Again, easy bend, and it will take a couple of different positions to do this. You push it down and just slightly over bend it. Look, see that bend going the other way? So that when you release, that comes back straight.
Now as you can see just under the arrow it does still have a very slight bend there at the top. So we'll address that now, just move it into a better position and get it straightened out. So this actually come off of the little uh, red dipped handle record 8 that Ben sent today. Perfect. There is no lubrication on this and look how easy that moves. Okay, so this is one of the ones that uh, Ben sent over. I'll give it a clean up on the wire wheel, but I can get the jaw open. It is frozen solid, so it's come up really clean and really nice. So I'm quite curious as to why the jaw won't open. So shall we have a look and take the um, pin out? Even this is hard. That's unusual. Oh, that's why. Look at that. See the difference in colour there, the rust on that. So, let's rip it apart. Eee. Check to see which side the uh, washer is. Spring. There's the spring. Come out of there. Now we can see now it's apart. It's a bit more. It's a bit more horrible. That's definitely horrible, isn't it? Look. God dear. Do that. We're going to put that in the chuck of the drill, like that. And, even simpler than normal. And this, don't just do the outside, get a brush on the inside. This one's so small I haven't got a brush to nicely shunt through there. Oh, maybe that one. around, give it a tap, well, actually I don't know if you can look through there, I can look through there, but now it's uh, not rusty in there anymore, this spring goes in the hollow end, okay, in the hollow end. Now, take this apart as well. Take this off. Eee. That one's that seized, it don't even want to move with no wheel in there. Cool. And look at that again. That is so incredibly rusty and shitty in there. Oh dear, I'm going to have to leave this till tomorrow now. Right, so tomorrow turned into New Year's Day, which was yesterday, if this comes out right. It's all very confusing. Anyway, cleaned it up, bit of oil, stick it back together, test it out. I shall now give you a reminder of the guest prices. So we've got the Eagle Spanners that would be quite at home in a Jaguar toolkit. We've got the Shelly F Spanner and the Shelly Spanners, also part of an old toolkit. And the three pad saws. And finally that lovely little pipe vise. So I'll just finish off putting this together. Simple thing now, put that screw in, that goes in really easy considering how it come out. This winds in and out absolutely lovely and smooth now. The clean, the oil, it's back to like when it was new. 
Okay, now, that's the end of the matinee. It's all for today. Have a good rest of your day. And bye for now.